Afternoon, everyone. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. We are here on a Saturday and it is absolutely beautiful out. But we are inside doing a quick little video or two for you guys before we go out and enjoy the weekend. Yes. Uh, yes, weekends. They mean so much when you're, it's the summer and you have every day off anyway. Uh, we got two pieces of mail that we're going to go over real quick, a little through the mail, if you will. One eBay, one from a fan. Now, so we'll do the eBay one first. It comes all the way from Canada. It came. It came. It doesn't. Now come. this is one that I ordered. These are these are older non-sports cards. Yeah. Uh, he pa person packed it really well. So oh, th wait, these wait. are like old cigarette style uh, non-sports cards. Okay. So let me uh, figure out how <laughs> we get to the cards. Boy, well packed. All right. So most of these are from Walls Ice Cream uh, from the United Kingdom. Uh, and they are pretty old. They're back from the 60s uh, for the that most part. Old. It is. So this is how small they are. Pretty easy to lose. Easy. Don't, don't sneak ahead. I got, I got a cool card in here. So this is Tea Walls and Sun Ice Cream Limited from Gloucester, England. And do you know a series of 24 cards? What causes the colors of a sunset? And that's what the card looks uh, like. You see how small it is. No. It's like the little uh, Alan Ginter insert cigarette sized cards. I have a Do You Know, number 17. And this is uh, Do You Know What Causes the Waves? No. Which is, oh, flip it that way. Maybe it's the air. Which is very cool. I have, did you know, number six, why coins have milled edges? No. Dad, aren't you going to read the answers? No, oh, no. These answers are really too long. Do you know, number four, why we sometimes become giddy in high places? Giddy? Yeah. I think that's lack of oxygen. But you can see the amount of text on the back of these cards are pretty big. Did you know, number two, why the gluten is so called? Is so called? Is so called. Why they have a God's name? Oh. And did you know, number one, how far away the horizon is? Did you know how far away the horizon? So I got these for just a couple bucks a piece plus shipping, which uh, is excellent uh, for the cards. Oh God, I gotta buy some mini uh, cigarette style sheets now. <laughs> What else do we got? Then we got, we got two more did you know about the Great Wall of China? Yeah, I did know about the Great Wall of China. So these are cool little educational cards. Again, back from the 60s, late 50s, early 60s. And did you know, there's actually no date on it, so you have to look it up. Do you know, number 20, why oil combs rough seas? Uh, because it affects the water. Affects the water. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those vintage ice cream cards from the Do You Know series. Ice cream. Then I got three called Moonfleet, a series of forty-eight cards. I got number seven, which is Mercury, and I always like space cards. And this is what the back looks like. And it just says, Mercury, the America's first man in orbit was Colonel John Glenn. He traveled in this Mercury spacecraft. After making three orbits of the Earth on February 20th, 1962, he was picked up inside the capsule after parachuting into the Atlantic Ocean. Get Sky Ray, Highway to the Moon is on the bottom, which was their type of popsicle uh, called the Sky Ray. It looked like a ship. Number 25 is weightlessness. What? Weightlessness. What's that mean? When you float with no gravity. Oh. And number 42 is the Lunar Spaceport. Right here. Very cool. Very fun. Very educational cards. Vintage. Old. Like it. Like it a lot. So, the reason I ordered this particular stack is because they had a card I was very interested in. Now, if anybody knows me, I like a science fiction show that originated in Britain back in the 60s. That's uh, 65, I believe. And that was one Doctor Who. So, I ordered... This set had... One of the vintage Doctor Who sets cards from, uh, I think this was like 66, uh, I believe. It's Doctor Who Adventure, a series of 36 cards. And this one is titled, number 26 out of 36, Defeat. What? Defeat. 
defeat. What that mean? It means they lost. That's what the well, back well, looks who like. Lost? I don't know. You have to read the back to find out. So the back states, A merciless struggle is raging between the Dalek invaders and Doctor Who's small rescue force of space raiders. Mounted on the giant armored Astro Beetles, Archidus, the Xeon leader, is captured by the Daleks and carried away as the Dalek ranks begin to waver and fall back under the rays of the Auto Beetle's eyes. Doctor Who telepathically urges on the King Astro Beetle. Victory is in sight. And then Walls Ice Cream. Space Raiders, look for this sign. T. Walls and Sons Ice Cream Limited. Walls House Gloucester. Wow. And actually, if you see the little icon uh, up here, those are actually little... Uh, that's what the popsicles look like. And they're, and they're going to the planet. It's kind of hard. They look like triangles. Oh. But you can see there's a little bit of a bump on them. That was yeah. the shape of the popsicle. Wow. So... This is Doctor Who. Very interesting. I love Doctor Who cards. If you're in the United Kingdom and you have any and you want to trade, I would love to have Doctor Who cards. Um, if this is something of interest, the old vintage Doctor Who cards, I am uh, the wrapper, as you know, uh, was the non-sport magazine. It buys and sells car old cards, uh, non-sports cards. Uh, I did a, a mention of them uh, on the Stadium Club 2015. I have written a two-part article about these cards, about the walls, series and a couple other different uh, sports card sets of uh, Doctor Who. Sports card sets, I'm sorry. Non, it's food sets. They all came in uh, cereal boxes or ice cream packets. Uh, it'll be in the next issue of The Wrapper, uh, part one, part two in the uh, following issue. So if, that, if you're interested in reading uh, some of my writing about Doctor Who vintage cards, you can pick up those issues. If you want a free sample issue of The Wrapper, please email me at uh, the address at the end of this video. I've arranged with uh, the publisher of The Wrapper to send out some free issues to people. Only ask if you're interested in non-sports cards, uh, buying and selling articles about them, because it's just one guy doing uh, this magazine as a labor of love, and if you're not going to look at it, it's not fair to him to request one. But if you have a legitimate interest in uh, vintage non-sports cards, drop me a line. We'll hook you up. And we also got this package in the mail. From? From somewhere. In Texas. <laughs> uh, actually, there's no return address on here. Dun, dun, dun. I can't read the postmark. Maybe California? So let's take a look-see inside. Yeah, I want to just have a look-see inside. <laughs> there's so much stuff in here. Hey, Matt and Lucas, this is Ethan, our Hi. fresh cards. I hope you guys enjoy this little care package. I sent you guys some Red Sox and Indians cards. I also sent you two hits, and one of the hits is an Allen and Gitter, which I know you guys love. I hope you guys enjoy this. P.S. Please open this on camera. Well, there you go. Should we do it on camera? Let's do it. Why not? We're already set up. So I'll open up the Indians. Here we got right on top of this old star. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, that. man. That's, That's cool. Big, big box. What? So, wee, wee. Dad, I think that's our Alan and Gitter. Yeah. Cool. So, In Texas. So, let me show up. This is oh, Star. Man. Star was a, a smaller publisher, mainly minor league teams, but they are about as bland as you can get for cards uh, back in the day. What is this? 89? Uh, yeah. Man, Doug, feel this. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me show off my Indians cards. Love the mustache on Doug Jones. This... Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I got a Jose Ramirez rookie card. Jose, Jose. Very nice. It's the foil kind, which are very cool looking. Jose, Jose, I got Nick Swisher, who has yet to really do anything of note this year. Come on, Nick. Oh, I got the regular Ramirez card. Ramirez. Oh, this is a nice Fleur tradition. I like that. Steve Carsey. Looks like the old vintage cards from the mid 60s. Nice back, too. Raymond Romero. Oh, I got my score, Jose Gonzalez. Now, this is a cool card because you got different pictures on the back and lots of information. Whoa. Josh Tomlin. And Paul Shuey. And for the relic, I have a. Texas Rangers! Naftali Filez. Texas Rangers, 2013, framed black border, mini relic. Look at that. How cool is that? Alan and Ginter. Alan and Ginter. Man, those, that's a, that is a cool card. I love those mini framed ones, huh? Yeah. 
Very, very cool. Very cool. So, what, what did you get, my friend? Okay, I got, um, you probably already saw, a yeah. Way Boggs American League 1987 uh, medal. Oh, cool. Wade Boggs, huh? Really? No third baseman in either league has matched Boggs' collection of eight Silver Slugger awards. His signature season was 1987 while he batted 363 with 106 walks, but powered up for 24 homers, more than double his totals in any other year. Yeah, that is. It's got heft to it, and the bat is metal. You can actually feel the metal. Which is really cool. That is a very, very cool card. And that's from uh, Topps. 2013 tops. That is going in my relic collection. That's gonna have to be displayed on a shelf. That's too big for any sheet. What? Look oh, how thick on. that is. It won't fit in any okay. ring binder. AJ Brzezinski. Brzezinski. Nice Polak. Polak. Yeah, he's Polish. Oh. You can tell by the name. Cespedes. With his brief stay. I thought mine was pretty good. Mookie Betts. Mookie! We saw him a lot in the minors. And my favorite, David Ortiz. David Ortiz. Nice. What Div is this? What is this? Oh, this is Bowman. All right. David oh, Ortiz. Nice. That's a cool card. Yeah. This is uh, the Turkey Red 2007. Turkey Red. Oh, Turkey Very nice. That's a cool looking card. Looks like a painting. Awesome. Um, Turkey Red. And that's show the back of that, like the old school cards. Josh, John Dobson, there you go. Luis Rivera. Luis. Luis. Very nice. Very good Rick, little player. Frank Rome. Cerrone. Cerrone. Nick Cerrone. Look at the mustache on him. Oh. <laughs> Love the stashes. <laughs> what do we got? Benito Santiago. Oh, he's on the Padres. Sonic, I don't remember him on the Red Sox. Joe Carter for the Indians. Nice. Getting some good cards in there. Sneaking Wait, them in Buckholtz? the group. Buck Good. Wait, good. which one was the Oh. Just about mixed up. Jerry Brown. This is the iconic, one of my first, well, not my first sets, but one of the last ones and I collected was 91. The final card is Jim Rice. Jim Rice. Very nice. I bet he likes rice. Yeah, I'm sure he's never heard that before. Whoa! So, very <laughs> cool, Ethan. Thank you very much. I think yes. Lucas really likes that Wade Boggs card. Um, it's cool. I don't have any of those star cards, so that's good to add to the collection. We got a, a great, I mean, this is a nice action shot right there. Little of everything. Very nice. Very nice. I did. I put them all in one pile. Yeah. Like a fool. Maybe I'm going to send these Jose Ramirez cards off to uh, Columbus, see if uh, he'll sign them Ramirez. for me, which would be nice to add to the old through the mail autograph collection. Um, so that's those cards were from Ethan. Thank you very much, Ethan. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, and then I got, I showed off my through the uh, my eBay purchase rather. EBay. Ooh, don't know where my brain is today. EBay. Showed off my eBay purchase of vintage uh, United Kingdom food card, non-sport cards. Dad, which one do you like more, the eBay or the pack? They're both completely different. One has great Indians cards and a great Wade Boggs card for you. The other one is older cards of non-sport. I like them all. I like this one more. I know. You'd be more interested in a Wade Boggs card than ice cream cards from the <laughs> 60s. I, yeah. that's, that's probably a given. But considering I actually paid money for the eBay, I think I'm interested in those as well. So, thank you very much, Ethan, for the cards. Thank, thank you for everyone you. for watching the videos. Uh, we'll be at the Mansfield Card Show tomorrow, July. I always have to look July 12th. Uh, picking up some more cards for trades and stuff. I got a big list of people who uh, I'm trading with that I'm going to try to get some cards for, as well as myself, and add to my collection. Uh, Mine too. We do have one more video we're going to try to sneak in today. Hopefully, we get it done. It's going to be a uh, Kotobuki uh, Stormtrooper two pack set that uh, I picked up. We we'll do a quick little hey, break and review of that. Hey, Mom and Lily picked up. All right, they bought them for me. Mm. All right, but uh, look for that uh, a little bit later. And for now, I'm gonna have to wish you farewell. Until next time, my friends. Bye. Bye.